Right, just thought about time we showed off the CD32 collection. Now just go through, CD32, we all know what it is. Console for the CD, Mega 1200. Use a keyboard, a mouse, and a joystick, especially designed for it, which is a bit get used to, but it's okay. And uh, we also have what you call an adapter, which is called, I think it's called a riser, which plugs in the back. And this way then we can add on our Terrifier so we can run games off a CF card. Uh, I think it's eight meg or four meg on this one. Um, easy to use, transferred straight in to make it look like an Amiga 1200. And also a new adapter I've just had is a floppy drive adapter. Now, the floppy drivers adapters are very expensive. You're talking £200 now. I had one, but I got rid of it when I knew the prices were starting to rise. And then all of a sudden I found one of these uh, for nearly 30 quid delivered. So you chuck it into your or oh, these GoTech drives for the USB and you plug it into the riser and it becomes a floppy drive which is very very useful for those games you can't load cracks on so yeah so that's a bit of a demonstration to see and show you working uh, how it's put together because these things are very temperamental I've also got um, an SX1 in a box also another riser um, I've got two of everything I like to have two of everything because you always know you never know one thing one it'll break down um, again uh, another riser board with an RGB out also you've got a PlayStation uh, not PlayStation a PS2 adapter for a keyboard to plug in so and with the RGB makes a hell of a difference I don't know what we can see on this screen yet but um, the pitch quality isn't amazing but as soon as I put the cable on, you'll see a massive difference in the picture. This is another one of my um, SX ones with no lid on. Um, again, CF adapter with everything on. Works mint. Um, they are very temperamental. So hopefully on video, I'll show you why I plug these things in. How a pain in the ass they can be. So I've got quite a few adapters to plug in. Um, I don't know where my RGB lead is. I've, a, I've tried to find my other one, but I had to buy a new one for this video to show you the quality of it. So I've got an RGB video that goes straight to the back of the TV as well. So hopefully I'll plug things together and I'll show you them working. Um, anyway, I'll, that's the start of the video. I'll do it in so many parts so you're not listening to blooming 30 minutes to an hour of, or, you know, moving around and stuff. So we'll try and do one bit at a time. Um, that's the intake. Also, it does play copies, which is another really good thing. Um, people don't tend to use them these days because you've got the CF, but they are handy to have because some games don't like being run off a CF card. Right. Uh, any questions on my first video that I'm putting on um, over the next, I know, I'm here for two days now, so. I've got time to do stuff. If there's any requests you want, let me know. I can show you something or you're not quite sure. I'm not too technically minded, but any game you want to see running, I've got access to quite a lot. So, you know, if um, you want to interact, I'm quite welcome to do it for the next two days, possibly next weekend. Um, usually better on them in a cup, you know, a week to week time now. Um, I'm having a bit extra time because there's Corona. So yeah, we'll go through the basics, um, I'll plug it in, show you what it looks like on RGB, and that'll be on the next video. So I'll do nice little videos, um, make life a bit easier, and easier for you to look at stuff if you need to look back on yourselves. All right then, uh, I think that's a detailed bit really. Um, I don't know whether you want me to do any un unboxing of the SX1, and just have a look, but there's, there is this. Anyway, right, that's it, uh, part one over and done with.